Hi, welcome to the Silicon Beach Meetup, and we're just about to start, so we're going to stream straight in now live. Max is going to open up, and then Atul is going to bring us into the fold. We're going okay. straight up with a sponsor, Thank and then on to our Okay, welcome to Melbourne Silicon Beach for July. Um, if you haven't been here beforehand, um, the toilets are just over the back corner over here, and they've got the $20 steak night on tonight if you're after something to eat, and the bar's down the back to grab a drink. Um, thank you very much to the Royal Melbourne Hotel, who is our venue sponsor and allows us to have these drinks once a month here. And uh, what we have coming on after, after we have a bit of an intro is we have the 90 second pitches, which is from people in our startup community um, who are able to pitch their ideas and their startup. And there's also the opportunity that if you uh, looking for a job in a startup, or you have something and you're looking for people to come and work with you or collaborate, there's also an opportunity after the 90 second pitches to be able to get up here and uh, ask the rest of the community if uh, there's the right people for you to collaborate with. Okay, um, now if anyone is doing What's that? We'll be live streaming yeah. yeah. we, we are live streaming video over here. And if you are putting photos or videos up yourself, if you could please put the hashtag MSB drinks and that will make sure that everyone can have a look at what we're doing. That's it. Thanks, Max. That is Max. He's our marketing guy and our Matula. He's a lead organizer. And uh, yeah, if you can come forward, because I don't think the people at the back can hear properly. The speakers are only up here. So yeah, and also if you want to keep networking, there is a room here on this side, or you can go downstairs. If you don't want to hear other people's speeches, you're welcome to do that. That's fine. I just want to give a little bit of uh, information about Silicon Beach because talking to you, a lot of you are coming here for the first time. So we just started about five years ago as a purely as a networking night, but now we're doing much more than networking. We are providing education in association with our education partners, General Assembly and uh, Collective Campus. And uh, yeah, so we are about helping you, uh, our, our logo, our motto is empowering startups, so that's what we are about. And recently, you'd have seen on our Meetup page, we got a, I got an email from uh, meetup.com, Meetup headquarters that we're running. I'm running one of the most active Meetups in the world, so. Come on. Woo! Go on, go. Woo! Oh, me a week, so. And plus, we have now 6,200 odd members, so thank you for joining. Can you hear? Okay. And, uh, okay, so uh, a few things that I need to say. We ran a live interactive lesson last uh, week from Collective Campus, and that was an epic fail. So we just couldn't get the thing up, and Telstra decided to have one of their outages. There is somebody from Telstra here, so I won't point out who that is, but uh, yeah. So we just couldn't do it. We refunded the money back to the people who joined. Not that many people. We could definitely have only 10 people, but we had about three or four. So, but it was really good. We learned a lot, and uh, I like failure. If you're not failing, that means you're not trying hard enough. Somebody said that, I don't know who. So anyway, that's, so, but it sucks for the people who paid, so they were not really happy, but can't help. And we thank them for trying and we'll sort of uh, compensate in some other way as well. Um, that's another thing that we have got, even though a lot of members are joining, we get every month uh, about 200 to 250 people joining, new members. But we are getting a lot of members leaving us as well about at least 30 to 40. I normally we used to have 10, 15 leaving a month, which is natural, people leave town and for other reasons. But now we're getting a lot of people leaving saying we are spamming them. So I actually stopped announcing these events that come up because we do have a lot of events. Can you hear? Okay, I think it's the way I'm holding the mic. Now is that better? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's that uh, we, everyone gets a reminder from Meetup, and that is beyond our control. 
uh, every time there's an event coming, meetup sends a reminder. So I'm just telling it for the benefit of people who will watch on the live stream on YouTube as well. You can go into your profile and you can go into your email settings in your profile and select Melbourne Silicon Beach and turn the reminders off. We can't turn the reminders off. It is being sent by Meetup and I actually asked Meetup, can you turn this off? They said, no, we can't turn it at our end. Neither can we as organizers. Each person have to go into their emails, uh, profile settings, email settings, turn reminders off from Melbourne Silicon Beach. You can have them from other meetups that you're members of because they may be having a meetup once every three or four months, but we have 30 meetups a month. So you don't want 30 reminders coming. Okay, that's very important to do that. And uh, also Silicon events, we're having paid events starting from August. It is a way of bringing in sponsors because we don't have, we have only one sponsor at the moment in our site because the new financial year, yeah, he's here, Michael will talk to us. And it's a company based in Sydney. Michael is the Melbourne representative. So it is, it's ironical that the only sponsor for Melbourne Silicon Beach is a Sydney company. So there you are. I think we should open a branch in Sydney. So um, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, other things we will chip in whenever the time arises. Hi June. Yes, June. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we will we'll give you a chance when we have to introduce the uh, pictures and then yeah. come to Instagram and things like that. Okay. We'll, uh... Okay. So um, yeah, the people who you've got Colin over here, who's part of our team uh, mm -hmm. doing the video. It's all that's leading everything. Um, June who is taking over our Instagram and doing some social media stuff too, I think, yeah. Um, and that's it for the organising team. There's a, few, there's a couple more of us, but they didn't, they're not here tonight. Um, yeah, with uh, the notifications, because I, I had an issue with getting sent so many emails as well, but what's going to happen, we've got an uh, email newsletter. If you go on to um, the melbournesiliconbeach.org, and yeah, what is up with this thing? Maybe not optimized for an old iPad. Yeah, it's an Apple thing. Okay, there you go. And so there's a menu on the website. There's a subscribe button there, and so we actually have a summary email that goes out um, that. Uh, lists all of the meetups that are going to be coming up and any highlights in the startup community. So if you go on to the melbournesiliconbeach.org website, you can even turn off all the stuff on meetup because it's going to be all summarised in the newsletter that comes out through here as well. So that allows, allows you to rationalise everything a bit more. Um, okay, we do have some special guests that are here tonight as well. Um, there's Monica from Startup Muster in Sydney. Are you going to come up and do a bit of a talk later as well? Yeah? Okay. Um, we've got David and Ray. Ray, did you bring a David? Is it just you? Have you got a David with you or is it just you? Yeah? Okay. Yep. Um, they're from uh, Entrepreneur Social Club, which is another um, meetup group here in Melbourne. And we have Peter from Dimension 5 that's down here. And Dimension 5 is a new um, social based uh, startup and co work space yes. that's opposite the Shrine of Remembrance down St Kilda Road. Um, and they're doing some really great stuff if, you, if you've got a social enterprise, social startup, that type of thing. Um, yeah, these are great people to get involved with. And of course, TCF if you're after RD funding. We, we talk to the pictures. Just yeah. uh, just, I got the Instagram page up there. June, who's at the back of the bar, has set this up for us, and she's going to be our lead Instagrammer. So, if any of you are on Instagram, I wasn't. I joined about you know five days ago. I don't have a single post, but people are following me. I don't know why. <laughs> so, <laughs> just get on Instagram and share and post these things. I think it's going to be fun. We want to take Silicon Beach to. Uh, the younger generation and to the world and I think Instagram is a great tool. June said that so many of the organizers are too old that we need to get some young people. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. 
One of them's got a good haircut, though. Yeah, this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he didn't want to look older than me, that's why he cut off. Okay. Yeah. And, and I used to have a beard as well. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, we we'll, we'll start with the only sponsor that uh, we have at the moment, is Michael from TCF Services. I'll bring him in. Woohoo! Good evening. Um, yeah, my name's Michael Valentine. I'm the general manager of TCF Services here in Melbourne. Um, TCF is a grants consultancy that's been around for about 25 years now, basically helping companies access various grants that are available. So we specialise here in Melbourne in helping people access uh, the RMT tax incentive and also offering finance by which people can actually borrow in advance of their current entitlement for the R&D, um, basically to improve, lengthen their, their R&D runway, I guess, and also to um, also just to, to assist them with, I guess, managing cash flow. So um, you may not be aware that um, you might be entitled to up to 45 cents in the dollar for each dollar of R&D that, you, that you're doing. So certainly look into that co-funding if you are doing a technological startup. Um, I won't talk about tax for too long, but if you have a look on our website, tcf.net.au, there's a resources section up there, which actually has a lot of really useful um, background information about R&D and grants, which is free and available, and which, um, yeah, which, which could give you an idea about whether you might qualify, and obviously always happy to have a chat here in Melbourne or a coffee if anybody's interested. So, thanks very much. Thanks, Michael. And I must tell you, all these people who pitch, whether it's 90 second pitches or sponsors or any other people, if they have a website, we will put that website up on the meetup page. And, uh, and stream it all over the world. Well. Yes. yes. And people, and it goes on YouTube. The thing. And uh, yeah, who's next? I think Monica will come all the way from Sydney and go next. Self funded as well. well yeah, fun. Monica yeah. is the CEO of Startup Master. I'm from Sydney, don't hate me. Cool. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> um, so I'm from Startup Master. I'm not sure if everyone knows about it, so I'm going to talk about it. Up on the screen now. Oh, brilliant. Yes. So we are the largest survey of the Australian startup ecosystem. We've been around since 2013. And our aim is to capture the progress, challenges, and opportunities of the startup ecosystem in Australia. Our data is utilised by government, by media, by industry, really the whole gambit of it. My background is Bureau of Statistics, um, so I'm really passionate about stats. I say we're as serious about stats as you are about your startup, and we're also a startup, so um, very serious. This is a report from last year. So um, we, did a, we did our last survey intake at the beginning of 2015. We just launched the one for this year on, um, actually on Monday. And startup founders, people that are thinking of starting a startup, and also those that support startups. So if you run a co-working space, you're an investor, an incubator, accelerator, a professional service where you've offered assistance to startups, you can take part. Because what we want to make sure is that we're capturing the entire startup ecosystem and what everyone's going through. So that we can reliably provide relevant data to various people that are making very important decisions about what will essentially affect our ecosystem and help us thrive and survive. Um, so I'm here tonight and I'm more than happy to talk about stats and about startups and about everything, the weather maybe if you like, I don't care. Um, but yeah, thank you for having me and my one ask, I guess, is for you to take part. Um, it's kind of like exercise. You don't really want to do it, but you love seeing the results. Um, so just think about it in that way. Um, and if you enjoy it, please share it, because one voice by itself isn't going to do much, but when we've got an entire audience, that's when we have really representative data, and that's when it's useful. So um, yeah, thank you for having me. Thanks, Monica, for coming. And uh, yeah, because I have been supporting uh, Startup Master for the past two years, and this is the result from last year. And it says Sydney, 44%, that's location of startups by city, 44%, Melbourne, 17%. Now, I'm sure that is wrong. That is because not enough Melbourne startup founders took part in the survey. I know that for a fact. 
So this year, let's change the statistic because the government looks at it. The federal government, we, we will have a federal government by after tomorrow, I think. So we, uh, they look at it and they have $2.1 billion. You want to say something else? No, no, I think yeah. right. to, to set aside for startups. So one good thing that Michael Turnbull did was got that money passed. It was passed with bipartisan support. Uh, Labour Party supported it, the Senate passed it through, the money is there. They pay, they spent 28 million on the Ideas Boom advertising campaign, which I don't agree, but I don't know, we may be having so many members because of that, who knows. So the rest of the money is there to be spent, so we don't know how it's been sent. So they will look at these statistics before dispersing it to the states and startup communities like us. So it's very important that you take part. Yes. Oh, Can I grab a photo? Yep, sure. Well, selfie. 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 It has a, a strong social enterprise, or I'll also add social impact um, side to, to the membership at, at the moment, but diversity is a really important pillar of our, of our community. So currently we've got about 25 members, um, and we're looking to continue building that community on a diverse sort of uh, range. Um, what else can I say? We've, we've, um, we've got quite a, a full event schedule. Are you open? Hit the community events. Uh, there's four events coming up um, starting Monday, next Monday. Um, they're all free. We like to, prevent, um, to provide free events to help build uh, startup businesses and, and small businesses. Um, yep, not a problem. Um, and yeah, we're, we're very keen for people to come in. Uh, we're very keen to be starting um, helping startup community. There's events. Yeah. Excellent, you'll, you'll see um, stuff. If any of those subjects are of interest to you, please please register uh, by, via Eventbrite uh, through those pages. There's more information on there. Um, so we have the events for even if you're not interested in, in coming along to a, a, um, a co-working community, which we are. Um, but, uh, so I've talked about social enterprise, social impact. If there is anybody in the ed tech space, Ed Tech, um, I'd really like to see you after the, um, the night as well because we've got an exciting development in that space as well coming up very soon. Um, however, that's, that's uh, Social Enterprise. John, you um, want to talk about creative innovation at the same time, the conference? Yes, we can. Well, that would be a third 90 seconds. Am I allowed that? <laughs> that's fine. Pushing the, pushing the barriers in. You will be sponsoring us soon. No doubt. <laughs> um, creative innovation is a is a uh, conference in November. Uh, it's held in Melbourne here at the Softel. Uh, the, for anybody who knows this no, space, wrong one. Wrong one. Uh, for anybody who knows this space, that the guys are leaders in the field. Um, and certainly, if you're interested in it, um, this is a conference not to be missed. We had a, a gentleman down from Sydney who they run a similar kind of event, and he was looking at the lineup of our speakers and couldn't believe that we had all these kind of people that they weren't able to get. Um, and was asking, how the heck did you get this person um, in your lineup? And it's largely because of the profile of what's gone beforehand. So,
there is a scholarship for startups, isn't it? Hey, oh, now, okay. beautiful segue. Uh, there is a, for those people in uh, social enterprises, we currently have five um, scholarships that we're awarding at the end of this month. Um, so it's a one or two page application. But if you're a startup or emerging in social enterprises, I'd encourage you to put in an application. You can find it. You still got our website up? Yeah, this is the creative innovation maybe. Yeah, no, but go back to dimension five. There are scholarships for creative innovation as well, but um, and go to media. Media tabs at the top there. Um, we've got five scholarships. Um, it's basically a free year's worth of rent plus mentorship plus an um, entry to all the events. Um, so it's a package of worth over ten thousand dollars, and it's, it's our way of trying to encourage startups to, to be starting up, so to speak. That'll be on the link from the melbourneSiliconBeach.org website as well. Fantastic. Um, the fourth dot down, Dimension 5 unveils scholarships for young entrepreneurs and innovators. It's a bit hard to find. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we all wear glasses. Basically that tells you how, how to go about it. Um, but thank you very much for your time. If you've got any questions, please come and see me. Um, EdTech people, in particular if there's any startups in that space, the whole ecosystem, not just platform builders or code cutters. Um, that would be terrific. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your time and Silicon Beach. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. Peter invited us to have some of our events there as well, so we'll be exploring that. He invited us to even use their space as an office. Now we have so many offices, so I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> too many offices. It's good to be loved, isn't it? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, now I'll give the mic to Taylor, who has written a book on innovation in Melbourne. Ah, you're one. Yes, it's me. What did you hear? <laughs> you, oh, good you, you had a very lovely event at the NAB building a couple of weeks ago. Yes, that's right, and it's on video if you want to watch it on the website. Um, who here works at a uh, co-working space? Hands up. We do too. Okay. <laughs> and who would like to go and work at a co-working space? Uh, how many co-working spaces do you think there are in Melbourne? Give us, uh, actually, um, a, a close answer would be, uh, we'll get a free book. 17. 17. Uh, you guys cheat. I've never talked to you before. 72. 60. Sorry. I think, I think that, that was. Uh, I think that was a bit spoiled. Anyway, it was a little bit spoiled, but some, you know. It was a plant. Yeah, it was a bit plant. Yeah, yeah a bit of a plant. There are 70. Uh, co-working spaces, it's a, this is the first guide to all co-working spaces in and around Melbourne, including regional uh, Victoria, Bendigo, Ballarat and Geelong and all that sort of stuff. So there are 70 co-working spaces. Uh, almost everyone I've spoken to um, did not realise there were that many. Uh, I came out of corporate, I've been in the ecosystem for about two years. Uh, what I decided to do was to summarise everything that I learnt in the two years in this book. Uh, marketing, strategy, all that sort of stuff. So that's all included in this book as well. So uh, uh, the purpose of this book, and it's, you see it on the video anyway, is I want to make Melbourne the greatest innovation city in the world. So, and the best way to do, to do that is to connect people and share knowledge. So that's exactly what I've done in this book. Um, the best thing you can do uh, to help me is to go and find a co-working space and ask them, have you got innovation, Melbourne? <laughs> because I want, people to enter the co-working space. Um, you can buy the book as well, it's 30 bucks. If you want to buy it directly from me tonight, you can have it for 20 or 10 or whatever. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, and it's also available online, Tobia, Angus Robertson and all that sort of stuff. It's a little bit of a pre-launch, so um, it'll be, there'll be a bit bigger launch in the next couple of months. Come on. I came up with this hashtag, Pedro. I thought he did a magic trick there. He put in the twenty dollars back. Uh, I did a. I, I tried to float a hashtag. It's most livable startup city. Everyone laughed at it, and it's it's not trendy. What can you? What can I do? The first call out when I asked the question. Who called out? Who called out thirty? I did. No, no. Someone over here. I did seventy. There was 60. There is a video recording. Can we replay the video? She's from Sydney. I just think she said 60. Ah, never mind.
give it to somebody. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Book launch. Alright, here you go. Ah, thank you. It's, it's I, I think, yes, I think it's appropriate that you give a book called Innovation Melbourne to someone from Sydney. Yes. Okay. So. You, can, you can give us some tips, obviously. Yes. Okay, uh, I was going to say, yeah, uh, most livable startup city. How can we get it trending? Can you help us? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. I'll talk to you later. Okay. So, startups, innovation, social innovation, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need a second edition of the book because this edition doesn't talk about Melbourne Silicon Beach. <laughs> we need to collect that. Okay, who's next? So we have... Is anyone else pitching? Yeah, there were some people yeah. who didn't have websites, so... Okay. Let me okay. see. Okay. Do you have a running sheet? Oh, yeah. You're closest. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, right. There we go. Yeah. So I'm a software developer by trade, and I created a group called Group Pop, as you can see up there. Um, it's basically group conversations in your local area to meet other like-minded people with like-minded interests, such as tonight with uh, Silicon Beach Drinks. So I've created a group called Silicon Beach Drinks at this location. There's another a number of people already on there, even on there from past uh, drinks that are on there chatting. So the idea I created is to have something that you could meet new people in your local area. That's not like Tinder or Grind or anything like that. So it's more to do with, you know, meeting like-minded people. So give it a go. It's on Android and iPhone. Uh, and you can communicate me through there. And it's uh, quite a good app. So give it a go. Good job. Thank you. Hey guys, going? Uh, my name's Paul. I'm known as Wee Little Jock on the Silicon Beach uh, website. So if you can't find me and Paul, it's Wee Little Jock. Um, I I'm a gaming addict or a compulsive gamer. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty. Um, one of the biggest issues that are coming out with the current um, society with technology is screen addictions and different forms of addictions to to different forms of technology. Um, my business is actually a social enterprise and we're going to incorporate um, utilising the actual technology that's out there, but also having a lot of social interaction between the people that are using it. So someone that would be coming to a place like um, a game venue would be coming, paying a little bit of money, run out of money, and they leave. I want them to be coming to a venue where they come, they hang out, they can hang out for days if they want to, um, they can play games, but they can also socialise. So I've got a huge plan and a lot of ideas, but I do need a lot of help to work out the different aspects. So what I'm looking for is co-founders, um, someone that's interested in games, technology, pop culture, um, anyone that has experience in software or hardware development, business or um, event management as well. Thank you. Thanks. That's, I think, yep. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot your name. Introduce it. Hello, my name's Jamie. Uh, uh, this is my first time uh, to Silicon Beach and I'm pretty impressed. What I uh, do is I've developed a process for turning organic waste into living soil and uh, and also a, a liquid fertiliser that can grow food vertically. Uh, I've come out of 10 years of R&D, I've done most of it uh, with our um, family funding, uh, no banking, no investors, uh, so it's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, however, there's been no compromising of, of uh, where we went with our minds to be able to create new ways of looking at things. 
As a result of this, uh, I'm going to cross across another thread or theme into uh, a friend of mine that heard what I was doing. Uh, they have a platform that uh, has about 400,000 members that are involved in uh, being loyal to one another. Now, as a result of being loyal to one another, they have uh, a way of transacting live for the benefit via an e-wallet. So I said, well, uh, seeing I'm in, in uh, ecosystems, why don't you expand upon that model and then tap into the collective uh, passions, drives, and experiences that, that people normally don't know much about in that community. And in so doing, you boost the uh, ability to interact way beyond what, what normally they'd be doing. So instead of just going to JB Hi-Fi and Hoyts to go and watch a movie and getting some loyalty points, that there are so many other aspects of the person's life that could come into this program. So uh, we then linked uh, with another person that we could bring in on board, and they have a software that's uh, a cognitive uh, type of artificial intelligence that can go through the data of this entire pool and pull out all this information that can then be strategically positioned to the individual where they can say, hang on a minute, that's neat. Um, I want to link with this person or that group or that endeavour, and in so doing, do the very things that I'm talking about. So where we're at at the moment is we need a person that's got a fantastic imagination that has got the passion and drive to, to see the potential of what we're talking about. Uh, so, for instance, IT background, someone that's a programmer that can uh, work with our ideas. And we've got some financial backing to make this thing a reality. And then also, as I've said before, a tool to go and launch this to. Uh, that's about uh, the sum total of it. I've got my, my dad here tonight. Uh, he's in the human sciences. So his aspect of adding to this uh, idea will be just greatly appreciated. Uh, hi, got a bit of a croaky throat. <coughs> Melbourne weather. Uh, my background, I started uh, in organising the meetups for the Australian institutional investors for 10 years in, in the past. Uh, and from uh, then I shifted over into the uh, a PhD uh, in uh, networking internationally, uh, particularly in response uh, to people that are helping post uh, disasters right throughout Southeast Asia. <coughs> and uh, we're looking for the, the possibility of all of these uh, three or four areas of software development uh, massively increasing potential for cash flow for good works. Now, for any here that are interested in in ramping up uh, the, the intelligent use of networks uh, at the human level. Uh, uh, that's been a key focus of my PhD. And it's been recognised, for example, by the community psychiatry section of the UK College of Psychiatry as being a world best uh, in terms of intercultural networking. So if you're interested in, in really understanding various forms of networks, uh, dispersed, long thin networks, uh, integrated networks, and how to link and have nodal points to linking these networks with each other uh, at the local, regional and global levels. Uh, you may be interested in the website uh, that I'll mention now, uh, LACE, LACE, as in LACE tablecloth or LACE uh, clothing, web, one word, L A C E W E B dot org dot AU. That is a massive archive uh, that records in these particular areas there on sociograms and networking that you might find very interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, so, how, how do people get in contact with you then? Yeah? 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 No website? On the meetup page yeah, or anything? Yeah, yeah, just under Jamie. J A Y. J A Y. Okay. Great. Um, have we got anyone else that's coming up? Yeah. Oh, 
Remember to keep it down a bit, guys, when the other people are speaking, please. Good evening, everybody. I am the co-founder of mywebtutor.com.au. Uh, we started about two months ago. We did our soft launch and we do two things. We connect private tutors to students and parents looking for these tuitions. And number two, we provide them our classroom tool to do these tuitions online in a one-to-one -one manner, real time. Uh, what's the problem we are trying to solve? Well, anybody who, ha uh, who has kids uh, taking tuitions or who know parents uh, with their kids taking tuitions, they know that uh, they'll be fitting their kids around uh, every week or on the weekends for these tuitions. Or alternatively, uh, they might ask the tuitions to come to their home and pay the premium to the tutors for that. So it's not very convenient uh, or sometimes it becomes very costly. And that's what we are trying to address. Uh, think of scenarios where you are living in a place where you don't have the right tutors nearby. So your locational constraint, we are taking it away by providing this platform. Uh, and how we are different from some of the other <laughs> search platforms which are out in the market. Uh, this goes on Instagram. Uh, basically, these are real tutors, right. <laughs> they are independent businesses, it's completely transparent. You can decide which tutor you want to go with and, and have a session with them. And, and that's, that's what we are um, trying to do here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who here is a taxpayer or a ratepayer? Okay. There are some 565 local councils in Australia. There are some 165 departments, federal and state. They all spend tens of millions, hundreds of millions and billions of dollars in infrastructure investments. Most infrastructure investments take between 18 to 24 months to go through the procurement life cycle. We have a product that can reduce that by 60%. So 60% reduction in costs, 60% reduction in time, so that infrastructure is put out and built quicker. It's rule based, we have all the flow charts, we have all the business rules, all we need is a developer and some spondulee. <laughs> so this product can be used in any state, any council, any country. It's universally applicable and can save a great deal of money. So if you're interested in talking to us, um, my email address is mrbarry at hotmail.com or you can find me on LinkedIn at barry.williams. chatbots and AI, and if you are interested in learning more about it, there is a website called bufferthon.club, so you can go there, we're going to have the hackathon this weekend, there's going to be already 40 plus developers, coders and other people, if you uh, just want to come and say hello and see how it's going, you're most welcome, it's going to be a um, co-working space, uh, Revolver Creative in Prague. 
So, yeah, that, that's it. You are going to go? Yeah. Hey guys, my name's June. I'm sorting out our Instagram at the moment and we just launched officially today. I do encourage you all, thank you. <laughs> I do encourage you all to follow it and just um, keep up to date with us. Um, it's got a lot of inspirational quotes for you guys for a daily dose of it. Um, and also I'm organizing some giveaways in the next month or two. So it'll be great if you guys will jump on board and give us some, yeah. Yeah, so follow us on Instagram. That just launched today. The melbournesiliconbeach.org website only went live today as well. It is also going to consolidate a lot of information that we've got from Cullen's podcasts that are on there. There's already one up there. Silicon, Our Silicon, Silicon Beach TV stuff. Siliconbeachradio.com.au is it? Dot com. Siliconbeachradio.com. It's got a brand new website. I didn't even know. Cullen didn't tell me. I went there and I'm like, whoo. So there's a lot of podcasts there, subscribe on Android and iTunes, so yeah. And we have Instagram, we have Facebook and Twitter, but there's no one driving our Facebook page, no one driving. You, I'm Twitter. about to take it over, you said, ah, okay. you said I was supposed to do Did it. I? Yeah. I? I forget. Like yesterday. Okay. Facebook, yeah, he's driving Facebook. <laughs> so I do about. this all the time. So yeah, just, just to see who works better, you know, give it to two or three people. And we'll have the giveaways and stuff as well, now that, okay. we're, now that we're actually starting to get out and communicate with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And we're hoping to do, a lot, along the lines of uh, the Innovation Melbourne book, and the things that other people are doing is we're trying to join everybody up yep. and um, make it very easy for the knowledge around the Melbourne startup scene to be easy to access for everyone with and, and having all the stuff like the videos and the recordings and stuff like that yep. as well so you can re-watch stuff from previous. Keep an eye out for uh, extra special Silicon Beach event. We're going to call them Silicon events. So the first one is coming in the middle of August on getting your story out. There's going to be a series of events on getting your story out through a book, through a blog, through a tech, like talk, tech talk. Uh, the first one is going to how to get the book inside of you out, the book writing workshop by one of the Silicon teachers, Catherine, who pitched here last month. And uh, yeah, it's going to be in the middle of August. We are sort of finalizing the event right page, being very reasonable, around $25 a ticket. Uh, but if you, we have an early bird special for only fifteen dollars, so it'll be up in the maybe the weekend. Support us by doing that because that's one of our revenue streams at the moment. We don't have much money. Uh, um, and also, thank you very much for past sponsors and partners, uh, Collective Campus and General Assembly, who are education partners, um, Melbourne Bitcoin Centre, where we have our Silicon Beach office, and. Also, the guys from Get Worm are up the back here as well. They've been long-time supporters and sponsors up until last month, I think. But uh, yeah, they'll, they, they help you go out and get an audience for your startup as well. And I think that's it for everybody. Yeah. We'll be having an event with them called How to Get the First 100 Customers, is that right? Yeah, we'll be having that event, whether you like it or not. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, thank okay. You very that's all. Much. Thank you very much for coming. Start networking again. The bar is still open, so you can go for more drinks and coffee. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi June, I'm just going to introduce everybody to our Instagram queen and we're going to hand over a, a taller thank you very much and he's going to sign out for tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we're on Periscope. There you are. The good old Periscope where you used to be. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll be here next month at the same time, first Thursday of every month. And uh, yeah, thank you. See you. Good night.